Hi, I'm Ryan Grepper, founder of Inventors Blueprint, and today we're going to be talking about the value of a good prototype. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and I've got to say, if you're pitching your invention, if you're trying to get it out there, a good prototype is worth like a million pictures. It is so valuable. Uh, I want to show you, this is one of my products. It's been, uh, it's been available for a number of years now. It was basically one of the first luggage scales that were out there. Before this, uh, there was nothing, it was basically repurposed fish scales that weren't ergonomic, they didn't have, uh, they had hooks that attached to the luggage. And as the rise in, in uh, overage fees for excess baggage started to climb up, this was my solution to it. Uh, I got this manufactured, uh, it was in SkyMall for a couple of years, it's been in hundreds of stores, it's sold internationally. And it's basically a flashlight, uh, a luggage scale with an integrated flashlight and the unique feature uh, of your display here, when you're over 50 pounds, you get a red light, if you're under 50 pounds, a green light. Not rocket science, but a big solution to a problem that a lot of consumers had. Well, I also want to show you the early prototype, because when you're pitching your idea, whether it's to license it or to manufacture it, the ability to communicate your idea to the person you're trying to get it across to in a way that really shows the, your product in the best light is extremely important. Um, you know, especially if you're licensing. You know, the more effort you put into it to get your product to a market-ready stage, uh, the more value you have in the bargaining on the bargaining table. Uh, so just to show you here, this is an early prototype, and basically I had uh, some functionality at my green light, my red light, and the, the flashlight work, and you've got the strap here. Now there really wasn't any strap like this that you could put on your luggage, but what was very helpful was I was showing it to people who hadn't seen this type of a luggage scale before, uh, it communicated the key elements of my design. It communicated the integrated flashlight, it communicated the fact that the entire uh, apparatus was you know, kind of all in the handle there, and it showed that red light, green light. So it could let people get excited about the features and imagine the final product. As you could see, there's a bit of difference between the final product and the, and the prototype. That's, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you do the best job you can getting a great prototype out there that accurately shows all of the exciting features of your product. Uh, and today, there's never been an easier time to get this done. Uh, there's free software. Google has a SketchUp tool. Google, Sketch, uh, Google SketchUp is a great tool you can use and you can learn very easily. There's a lot of great tutorials. Uh, Alibre has some great software that's much more powerful. Again, under $200. Or you can take advantage of the global marketplace and go on a site like Elance, search product design, and find someone who can help you get your product created uh, for pennies on the dollar and still do a great job. Well, now I know a lot of inventors feel a bit hesitant about sharing their ideas with a complete stranger. Well, you know what? It's just something you're going to have to get used to if you ever want to make profit with it because it's not making you any money in your head. So we need to get it out of our head. We need a prototype. You may need some help. If you do, there's a couple simple ways you can protect yourself. An NDA is one thing that a lot of people talk about, but if you're going to have someone else help you with the product, especially the design element, it's so important that you have them sign a work for hire agreement. This document basically lets you uh, have them as a contractor and the agreement is that any improvements, modifications, any changes are part of the for hire and they are not a co-inventor status. So. Uh, down the road for your intellectual property protection it's going to really help you out and you know what it's just one less thing to worry about and there's some amazing technologies you can use to take those files that you've got and actually get your prototype rapid prototype 3d printed uh, cnc milled and sent to you overnight and here you go you've got the, from the computer screen to your house next day service almost so and the prices are coming down all the time it's really just an amazing opportunity to get the technology for great prototypes to the price and uh, level of quality that used to be out of, the ra out of range for the everyday inventor. Now, if you go to inventorsblueprint.com and you sign up for the free training videos there, those two uh, documents that I was telling you about, the NDA and the work for hire, are both available as a free download. So I hope in this video you found something in here that you might be able to take action on to help you get one step closer to getting that idea out of your head and onto the store shelves. Until next time, enjoy the journey and keep on inventing.